Bitcoin babe Eunice Wong caused a stir on Below Deck Down Under when she requested McDonald's for dinner instead of a gourmet dish the chef had prepared. And it appears the Malaysian-born cryptocurrency influencer's aversion to fine dining extends beyond the hit yachting show. Earlier this week, Eunice turned her nose up at the caviar she ordered on her first-class Emirates Airlines flight to Miami. The NFT enthusiast took to Instagram to tell her 200,000 followers not to order the gourmet house caviar off the Emirates menu. She began by filming the menu, before showing off the small tin filled with shiny black fish eggs. This is what I got, she said, clearly disgusted, as she picked up the tin, before adding, nah. While it's unclear exactly how much the caviar was worth, 30 grams tins from Gourmet House can go for as high as $510 each. The next morning, Eunice filmed herself relaxing in the first class seat with a plate full of scrambled eggs, spinach and mushrooms. Eunice has been dubbed Australia's crypto queen by various financial media outlets. The jet-setting socialite loves to document her lavish lifestyle on Instagram, which includes her first-class flights on various airlines. Last year, she told Stockhead she learned how to trade from her boyfriend, Asad Danis. Danis runs the boutique investment firm Ascena Capital and is also a well-known finfluencer, or financial influencer, with more than 100,000 followers on Twitter. Eunice made her TV debut on Below Deck Down Under this week, where she turned down two of the chef's gourmet dishes and requested McDonald's and scrambled eggs instead. The glamorous Bitcoin mogul was joined on the show by her pal Kareem Garvey, who starred in Channel 10's short-lived reality series Sydney's Crazy Rich Asians. Their divatics started when Kareem criticized the dated decor on the Thalassa super yacht, before demanding that his master cabin be redecorated. So many angels everywhere, he said, clearly unimpressed by the angelic statuettes that adorned the interior. This boat is a bit like Versace. It's a bit 80s. It just needs restyling, he added. Upon seeing his cabin, Kareem complained it was the smallest room I've ever been to. He then asked Chief Steward Saisha Scott to redecorate his cabin. I don't like these little angels, he said. These freak me out. If you can just get rid of them, it feels a little bit like a horror movie. He also told Aisha to remove some fake flowers that were on his bedside table. I can't do fake flowers, he said. I can't do fake people and fake flowers, and fake fashion designers. Aisha later moaned to producers about Karim's attitude, saying, If you're that bougie, buy your own bloody yacht. The crew ran into more trouble later with crypto queen Eunice, who was less than impressed with chef Ryan McCount's steamed barramundi during lunch. She screwed up her face in disgust after the first bite. Nah, I can't eat this, she complained. It smells. I think it's a bit too overwhelming for me. Eunice requested a salad from the chef instead, before asking if she could get some fast food delivered to the luxury yacht. Can I have McDonald's? She asked. I would love to have McDonald's. Eunice and Kareem continued to complain during dinner when they learned that Chef Ryan had prepared a cured fish dish. I'll skip that because I don't eat raw fish, Kareem snapped. Can you just give me some scrambled eggs? Eunice asked Ryan. No, I'm serious. I just want to eat. 